Good evening. I'm Peter Dow. And I'm Elsa Ramon. An early morning pursuit ends in a deadly shooting as officers fire on a man they say pulled a gun on them. It started with an assault with a deadly weapon call in Corona. Officers arrived and the suspects took off and crashed at First Street and Park Ridge on the border with Norco. KCAL 9's Jeff Nguyen is live with an update on this shooting. Jeff. Elsa and Peter, this investigation is still going on right now. Let me step aside and show it to you. It comes about 15 hours after bullets flew here. Officers say they opened fire after a man pulled a gun on them. The Riverside County Sheriff's Department says a gun was found at the corner of First Street and Park Ridge Avenue in Norco following a deadly police shooting. Luis Cowley says he and his family were in bed when their sleep was disrupted by a series of gunshots. This is kind of crazy. I mean, uh... You don't expect this to happen. The gun was lying next to the body of a man who was involved in a short police chase just after 2 this morning. Officers say he pulled the weapon on them after he tried to bail out of a car that crashed across the street from Jonathan Hames' home. It was a little scary at first because I just saw a bunch of lights. That's what I woke up to. Police say a second man was in the car. He also tried to ditch it after the wreck, but officers were able to catch him without having to fire a single shot. The whole thing started outside this strip club in Corona where a customer called the cops on the two men who witnesses say assaulted someone in the parking lot with a gun. That led to the police chase. The police came and took all our film. Police say no officers were hurt during the chase or the shooting. I've been living in this uh, neighborhood for maybe 24 years and nothing like this has happened before. And the Riverside County Sheriff's Department is handling this investigation because both the chase and the shooting happened outside the city limits of Corona. And keep in mind, the Corona Police Department was the only agency that handled both of them. Now back to you.